so. <laughs> It's okay. We got you. You can do I'm this. Sorry. It's okay. Talk to your mother. It's just hard because you wasn't there for my first day of high school. And I feel like that's a very big thing. It was hard for me not having my mom there. And I had to come home and tell Pumpkin what I'm doing. And yes, I'm very grateful that Pumpkin was there for me. But why wasn't you there? Why wasn't you there in the moments that I needed you most? Because I was sick, couldn't take care of myself. Yeah, so for a while I was maintaining and taking care of y'all, but I wasn't doing what I needed to do. Well, what's the point in doing it if the most important person that I want to be here for everything in my life, the important parts, the sad parts, whatever it is, is not even there to see me? <laughs> Once the anger is gone and the hurt is gone and the disappointment is gone, you just feel kind of empty. I know that I was selfish when I went to rehab. And to be honest with you, I'm still a little bit selfish in my recovery. But I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get y'all back in my life. And that's the reason why I'm here today. June, hold right there. Keep going, Alana. You don't know how many nights I cried myself to sleep. <laughs> just hoping and praying that you don't overdose. And I mean, I'm lucky I, I didn't pray. Hold on, Jim, let it talk. God, please don't let my mom die. Please, just, just hold on to her, just please. <laughs> I just wanted you there. And even if I texted your phone, I wouldn't even get a text back. So hell, I never knew if you were alive or dead anyways. <laughs> 